Today we're at Hellfire Pass on the infamous Death Railway constructed in World War II between Burma and Thailand, constructed by 200,000 enslaved Asian laborers and 60,000 allied POWs. Let us show you around. At the JEATH Museum in Kanchanaburi, there's a mock-up of the kind of accommodations in which the POWs were kept. There's also an actual bomb that struck the famous bridge on the River Kwai. At the nearby Allied War Cemetery are the graves of 7,000 Australian, Dutch and British POWs who died while constructing the railway line. The cemetery is beautifully maintained and a fitting epitaph to their memory. The next day we visited sections of the railway line that was constructed by the POWs and the enslaved Asian labourers. The line has some spectacular sections clinging to tight cliff faces on the bends. And then we visited Hellfire Pass itself. During the 12 weeks of constructing this pass, the Imperial Japanese guards beat to death no fewer than 69 POWs to encourage the others to work harder. After the war, 111 Japanese guards were convicted of war crimes, 32 received death sentences. And then we rode the train back into town. Ironically, we took the exact line built by the POWs. The scenery here is very nice, although those who built the railway would not have been able to enjoy it. Working 18 hours a day in the sweltering heat, 12,000 of 60,000 allied POWs and 90,000 of 200,000 Asian slaves died building this line. And then finally, we reached the famous bridge itself, coming back into Kanchanaburi. My mother's father fought the Imperial Japanese in this region, and her uncle was actually taken prisoner by the Japanese. It was a strange experience to be a tourist in a place where they had so many terrible experiences. One can only hope we're not doomed to repeat our history.